happy. I got got more touches, you know, and, and worked hard, and it paid off in the end. So. So you get to start tonight. You're playing in an attacking midfielder role. Is that a role you like? Honestly, that's the first time I've ever played that position. Yeah. So I guess from tonight, I do like it. Uh, <laughs> but um, no, it's I'm quite a versatile player, I think, in myself. So um, been able to do that probably just opens you know more doors for me in terms of playing time, hopefully, and um, it shows that I can do different things. So that's probably the main thing for me. But you no, know, as, uh, as, as from as from tonight, I uh, I do like that position. I mean, you you play did you play in, on the outside and the back for most of almost all of your career? Uh -huh. Yeah, but I played centre back for a lot of my career, and, mm -hmm. and then uh, coming here since I played outside back, and and then found out that I was getting pushed up today. So, it was, uh, so um, it wasn't just you today; it was also uh, Orso, uh, Jesse Williams, um, Arguido. A lot of the young guys kind of showed showed up today. Um, what are you guys trying to prove in terms of getting opportunities in the? In the first team and moving forward, trying to get as many minutes as you can. No, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of good players here. There's a lot of experienced players, you know, Alex Dixon, Kyle Forbes, Russell, Dan Kelly. They're, they're all good, experienced players. So, training with these guys each day just makes you a better player. But getting a chance to play, especially in games like this, and getting minutes to prove yourself is, is, is definitely important as a, as a rookie or a young guy like myself. Um, so, so, getting the opportunity was definitely something I thought I needed to take. And hopefully, further down the line, it gets me more minutes. But if not, I'll keep working until I do. So, can you uh, talk about the build-up of the first goal and then also the second goal, the, the pass from Wyatt? Um, maybe just kind of take yeah, us through this. So, uh, yes, yeah, so the, fir the first goal, it had just been a couple of minutes before the coach had switched me out to the left because um, I was playing on the right. So um, I, was, I was just trying to get, you know, to adjust to the position and adjust to that side. Um, I've seen the ball go down the side to Luis and... I know Luis is a good technical player and he's going to get across. And so I sort of gambled that that, that ball was going to come to the back post and the, the defender was uh, flat-footed and I, I ended up getting a touch on it and put it in the corner. So um, that, that was, that's just trusting Luis because I, I knew I knew he was going to get a ball in. So, um, yeah, and, and then the second goal, it was a bit lucky that the right back slipped. Um, so, but but it was it was a great ball from White. He saw me um, diagonally from the other side and the guy slipped out of touch and, and that was that, so... Couldn't actually believe it went in after it did, but, <laughs> but yeah, I'll take it for sure. But you, you're not used to being that close to goal, you know, right? Yeah, my mind usually goes blank in the final <laughs> third. I have no idea where I am, but it, uh, it seems to have paid off tonight. So. Mm -hmm. well, Toby, I was told to ask a question about your uh, quote in the locker room beforehand when you saw your positioning. Obviously. Yeah, I, I mean, no, I, I couldn't believe I, I was playing that high, and I'd, I'd said to Luke and. And, uh, and and Mark the other day, I felt like I was going to score today, and they were like, "No, you're not. You're not going to score. You're not going to score a goal." And uh, yeah, I mean, it turned out that I did. So, what do you you you, you know, obviously you're um, where you come from? The FA Cup is a huge thing, uh -huh. right? I mean, obviously this is the first round, early round of the Open Cup, but what do these tournaments mean to to soccer culture and soccer? I mean, what what are your thoughts about the Open I mean, Cup? I mean, it, it means a lot. I mean, the chance, obviously, to to go on and win it would be would be would be huge, but to get the chance to put yourself up against an MLS team, um, team higher up in the league, especially with the Bobcats coming up here, it's probably like, ah, oh, um, similar to us wanting to play an MLS team. So it's it, it's that opportunity to to show yourself against the best teams and in the leagues above, and, and hopefully go on and win it, which is which is great. I mean, the FA Cup back home, you get obviously there's more leagues, so you get teams from really far down playing the higher up leagues, and and the, the America's doing the, the same thing with the, with the Open Cup, so it's. Uh, it's definitely a good opportunity to try and test yourself against the best. So, did you ever experience any FA Cup games? I, I wasn't lucky enough to. You know. yeah. I wish I had. I wish I had, but I wasn't lucky enough. Mm -hmm. It was there. Uh, I played the, the FA Trophy, which is a uh, one for the, like the non-league, just the non-league teams. Um, but I didn't actually get a chance to play in the FA Cup. No. Which play for in the trophy? Uh, Michelobe Sports okay. in Derby. I, I played there maybe for six months before I came out to America. Gotcha. Um, so I played with some. Some, with some good players like Clinton Morrison who played for Crystal Palace and the Republic of Ireland I think so um, it was good I, mean, I, 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 I had to get toughened up to play there yeah, it's, yeah. it's tough in them <laughs> leagues but it's, uh, it's a good experience for sure thanks Toby thank you